Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the Exile Club and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to explore the lookup value expression in DAX. Now this works in Power BI and in Excel from Excel 2016 onwards. The lookup value function can be compared to the VLOOKUP function in Excel where it'll search through a table to find a lookup and then it'll return a corresponding value. There are some differences, however, between the VLOOKUP in Excel and lookup value in DAX. Now, one of the great things about lookup value in DAX is that you don't need any relationships between the tables in which you're carrying out the lookups. If you do have relationships, well, then you can use the relate expression instead of the lookup values expression. But what we're going to do is explore the lookup values expression in this video. But before we get stuck into our Power BI model, I hope that you will give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notifications button so you don't miss any more of my videos. So if you're ready, let's take a look at the lookup value expression in DAX. So let's take a very simple look at this expression first. I have a small table of data here. It is a products table and it lists the number of products and it also lists the price. So let's say we have a requirement to produce a card that shows the cost price for let's say one of the products blue ice well we can create a measure and we can then drop that measure into our card so let us create a new measure so we are going to name our measure lookup cost and we're going to start with the lookup value expression now you see it says it retrieves a value from a table so it expects a table so first of all it looks for the result column name. So this is the column that you want to pull your result from. So in this case, we want our products table and we want our cost price because we want to return a cost price based on a product that we are going to specify. Next, it looks for the search column name. So in what column are you going to search for the match in? Well, in this case, we are going to search for the through the products table and the products column. Now, what are we going to search for? Well, let's say we want the cost fri price for blue ice. So we can put blue ice in inverted commas because it's text that we are dealing with. So that will then go ahead and create our measure and we can hop onto our canvas and we can insert a card and we can just place in our measure, our lookup cost. And that's brought back for us the cost price for our product blue ice. Now I have our measure highlighted here and if we change our measure to flower, it's going to pull back the cost price for flower instead. So basically the lookup value will look up a column, find a match and return a corresponding column. So that is our very first example of our lookup value. Let's go back into our table view for a moment and we'll add another table into the mix, which is our invoices table. Now our invoices table contains a date, an invoice number, the customer, the line item and the product. And what we want to do is we want to pull in the cost price from our products table as a new column in our invoices table. Now, the one thing to note here is, and you'll see here, we have our two tables in here and there is no relationship between these tables at all. If there was a relationship, we could use the relate expression. But in this case, we are going to use the lookup value to pull in the values because there is no relationship. So we are going to add a new column. We will call this column cost price and we will put in our lookup value. And in this case, we want to go to our products table and we want to return. So what do we want to return? Well, we want to return the products cost. Now, what are the criteria for returning the products cost? Well, the products column in the products table 
needs to match the products column in the invoice table. So we're gonna go into our invoice table and I'm gonna pull in our products. So as long as the rows match for the product column and the product table and the product column on the invoice table, we are going to return the cost price. So we can see our cost prices have been returned for us, but we have one item down here that is left blank. Now the reason this item is left blank is because this item doesn't appear in our products list at all. So it wasn't able to return a value and we did not specify a value, so it returned a blank. What we can do is we can amend this formula now so that we can put in a value when nothing, when there is no match or when nothing is found. So in this case, let's try put in text and let's say not found and we close the bracket and we'll see now we actually get an error. Now the reason that we've got an error is because the cost price column that it's looking up is a numeric column, but we've added in text for value not found. So this won't work. You can't put in text when you're trying to reference a numerical column. It has to be a number. So let's put in an arbitrary number of just say 100, for example. And we'll see now that the cost price pulls back the cost price for everything, including this ribbon decoration for 100, even though the ribbon decoration isn't included as a product in the cost. Because what we've done is we have taken in this additional um, criteria of our formula alternative result and we've put in a value for our alternative result. Now there are other reasons why we might get an error. Let's go back to our products table for a moment and I'm going to go in and I'm going to edit this products table. So I've gone into transform data there for a moment and in my products table I'm going to go into my source and I'm just going to add in a new row here and I'm going to call this blue ice and I'll put in a value of let's just say 25 there and say okay and then I'm going to say close and apply. So this will just add that new row to the table of data. Now we've been brought back into our Power BI and I still have the value if not found in there. So I've just deleted that and I'm gonna hit enter. And we'll see now that we have been returned with a load of errors. And we've been returned with these errors because a duplicate has been found, a duplicate, duplicate lookup has been found and DAX doesn't know which one to return. Now again, the way to overcome this is to put in a value if a value is not found and which I've just done there. And we can see there blue ice comes in at 100, blue ice down in here comes in as 100, and ribbon decoration also comes in at 100. Now, another way to overcome this would be to go back into your data source again and fix your data source so that you don't have duplicates in your actual table. So I'm just gonna go back into our products table and I'm going to go into our source and I am going to remove that last column because we don't need it, the last row because we don't need it and say, okay. Now I'm gonna close and apply this and we're gonna move on to our last example of the lookup values expression. Now we have two more tables of data in this model. We have some exchange rates to the euro. So we have US dollar and GBP for the 1st of January, US dollar GBP for the 2nd, US dollar GBP for the 3rd. So we see US dollar has listed a number of times and that each date is also listed a number of times. Now if we go into our details table, in our details table, we have an invoice date, we have a customer, we have an FX amount and we have a currency. Now what we want to be able to do is convert our amount in foreign currency into euros in a new column. And we want to be able to do this by reaching into our euro exchange and getting the correct exchanges. Now having a look at this, we have currency listed here and we also have date. So we've got two criteria 
that we can match. So we have currency and we have date. So we can use these two criteria. And again, these tables, which I have down here, are not connected at all using a relationship. So let us add a new column. Let's go into our details table and let's add a new column to our details table. And this is going to be euro amount. And we're going to do lookup and we're going to do a lookup value. And we are going to go into our um, euro exchange spreadsheet. And in our euro exchange spreadsheet, we want to return the rate. Now we want to return the rate when both the date matches and when the currency matches. So first of all, we will say the euro exchange rate date, and we want that to match with the date on our, our details table. And then we also want to go to our second column and we want to make sure that our currency is the same as our currency in our details table. So we've got two columns that we need to match. The date needs to match the date and the currency needs to match the currency. Now, if we hit enter there, we have pulled back our exchange rates, but that's only our exchange rate. So we now need to put in a formula that we can then convert the FX amount. So we will take our amount from our, our table here. So amount in fx and we are going to divide that by our lookup value and that will give us our euro amounts now when you're dealing with currency what i would always suggest as well is that you wrap it in a round function to two decimal places to round it down to the correct values and there we have been able to match by two different columns across tables that have no relationships. Now you can match with more than two columns using the same method that we've shown, I've shown you here. So that is the lookup value function in DAX. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it the thumbs up and share it across your social profiles. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I hope you will do so now. Goodbye now.